Begin at the top of your mat and start to generate an ujjayi breath. Sura Namaskar A. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Lower the knees down. Exhale, to your belly. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Low Cobra Pose. Hover the hands so you're utilizing the back instead of using the hands. Making your way to Downward Facing Dog. Take three Ujjayi breaths here, just warming up, bending the knees one at a time. Feeling the shoulders move away from one another. With your next inhale, step the feet forward, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, forward fold, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, hands to Tadasana. Second round of Sura Namaskar A. When you are ready, inhale, arms reach up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, come up halfway for Ardha Uttanasana, step back, Plank pose, lower the knees down, exhale, down to the belly, inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra pose, exhale, forehead down, inhale, onto the knees, tuck your toes, exhale to downward facing dog, taking three strong Ujjayi breaths here. Keeping the gaze on the belly button. Start to look in between your hands. Step the feet forward. Ardha Uttanasana. Halfway forward fold. Exhale forward fold. Inhale. Arms reach up. Move the hands through prayer. Back to Tadasana. Third and final Sura Namaskar. Arms reach up. Forward fold. Come up halfway. Step back. Find plank. Full plank this time. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So just getting in the groove of connecting the breath with your movement. Start to feel into the knuckles and the fingertips and down dog. Coming up, halfway forward fold and forward fold. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, Tadasana, Sura Namaskar B, Chair Pose, Utkatasana. Forward fold, come up halfway, step back, Plank Pose. Coming down into Chaturanga Dandasana and then Upward Facing Dog. Back to Downward Facing Dog, step the right foot forward, Virabhadrasana, Warrior One. Follow your exhale, come back to plank, move through your vinyasa, back to downward facing dog, warrior one, opposite side, left foot steps forward, turn the right foot out, reach the arms up, hands come down, plank pose, cycle through your next vinyasa. This down dog you'll hold for three rounds of breath. You should start to feel the heat, the internal heat start to generate in the body uh, by this rapid flow, rapid movement is gonna help stimulate your Agni digestive fire. Step the feet forward, exhale fold, straight back into Utkatasana. Bending the knees, taking that seat on your imaginary chair, back to Tadasana. Let's cycle through a vinyasa here. So the vinyasa can be through full plank to upward facing dog. If you aren't there quite yet, you can totally do knees and then Bhujangasana. So really modify the practice to you. Take three-legged dog. Flex the right foot, hips are square. 
with a nice deep inhale reach right knee towards the nose inhale it back up exhale right knee to right elbow back up three-legged dog right knee to left elbow three-legged dog step the right foot through lower the left knee down low lunge arms extend and reach upward begin to interlace the hands behind the back knit the ribs towards the spine but open up through the chest and heart center this is going to help remove any excess kapha lingering in the chest breathe deeply reach the arms back up to the sky plant the hands down I'm going to take a little twist here so make sure the left hand is parallel with the right foot you extend and reach up through the right fingertips press back through the left heel right hand comes down preparing for high lunge keep a nice bend in the right knee we'll move into another heart opener here so just like we did in low lunge but now left knee is up heart reopens feeling light and buoyant in the body reach the arms back up hands come down cycle through your next vinyasa moving into side plank vasisasana variation reach and extend the left arm up to the sky flex through the feet lift the right hip up exhale inhale upward facing dog and downward facing dog let's try out the opposite side lift the left leg up to the sky with an inhale you'll begin to draw the left knee into the chest so use your power use your strength use that internal heat that you're cultivating three-legged dog left knee to the left elbow re-extend left knee to right elbow re-extend step the left foot forward lower the right knee down reach the arms up low lunge move into your heart opener here draw the navel towards the belly button open through the heart center even the throat is open just inviting in the ether and air elements reach and extend the arms up float the hands down tuck the back knee lift and extend left arm up to the sky continue to lift up through the right thigh as you press back through the right heel left hand lowers down prepare yourself for high lunge stay on the ball of the right foot 90 degree bend in the left knee keep it right over the left ankle open up through the heart center press the heels of your hands together re-extend arms up plant the hands down we're going to move into plank and then straight into vasisasana plank pose left wrist should be directly underneath the left shoulder try to flex the feet here back into plank vinyasa open the heart center and back to down dog step the feet forward halfway forward fold into a full forward fold reach extend the arms up and lift find Tadasana put your hands on your hips and step the feet 
out. You're gonna move into warrior two with the right foot forward. So right knees over right ankle. Bring your gaze just beyond the right middle finger. Transitioning into Trikonasana, triangle pose. This is a really wonderful pose to just open up the side body and allow fresh prana, fresh oxygenated blood into those areas of the body that could feel a little bit stagnant and dull. Begin to pivot your feet, move directly into Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2 on the opposite side. So just feeling that heat generate from these strong standing poses. It's gonna help to break through, again, any stagnation in the body. Throughout the practice, just staying committed to your ujjayi pranayama. You can reach and bring the right arm parallel with the right ear. And then you're gonna move into Parvrita Trikonasana. Left hand can come to the outside or the inside of your right foot. Try to plant the left hand on the ground as you reach and extend the right arm up. If this is not accessible, definitely grab a block for this posture. So Parvrita Trikonasana. We're in the opposite side now. Trying to keep the heart open. Moving to the top of your mat. Find Tadasana, reach the arms up, keep going. Halfway forward fold, step it back, find plank. You've got this, you're doing great. Reaching up, upward facing dog and back, downward facing dog. You're gonna step through to a seat, extend the legs forward, lay down on the back. We'll move directly into our inversion here, which is shoulder stand. So you'll bring the hands onto the low back and try to scoot the elbows in as close together as possible. Gently draw the chin in towards the chest. Keep the breath nice and smooth and even. Point the toes. Try to bring the legs back a little bit so they come in line with the hips. Halasana. You'll just bring the legs directly over the head Try to bring the balls of the feet and the toes on the floor. You can interlace the hands or keep the hands on the low back. To come down, plant the hands, legs lower down. Take a moment to move the head gently side to side. We're gonna move into fish pose, Matsyasana. So you literally sit on your hands, draw the elbows close together, lift the head up and away from the floor, puff the chest up, and you rest on the, the top of your head. But there's little to no weight in the head. About 90% of the weight is in the elbows, in the arms. Feet can be neutral and you're just taking gobs of full, smooth, even ujjayi breaths into the heart. Release your matsyasana, fish pose. Move the head gently side to side. Take a supine twist here. Any supine twist will do, whichever twist is calling you today. If you take the variation that we're taking here today in the video. Just make sure the shoulders are planted on the floor. Twists are great for kapha time of year just to help expel anything that's lingering in the digestive tract and it'll help stimulate agni or your digestive fire, which is great to bring kapha dosha back into balance. Hug the knees into the chest. And we'll close with Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. And you can just let it go here. Just begin to warm down the body. 